SABC Sport is proud to present to you the best African coach, the son of the African soil, Bitso Jingles Musimane. Here we've got a leader, we've got a, a father. He's got a sense of humor, he's a very generous person, he's very fair, he's very down to earth. He has made a name for himself. Bitso is one of our own. I still remember his words very well when he said, uh, and we will conquer. Uh, Africa if, we, if we, we take football serious. He knows every player in the PSL. If you don't believe me, go and ask him. The one coach who always leads by example. I think success, uh, victories and excellence and achieving certain objectives is, is of paramount importance and this is what drives him. A coach who can build character. Coach, you must thank your wife because got 3 a.m. Where well, now it's a Nicolo for the lady player. <laughs> We've heard this rumor, everybody's speaking about the coach. A man who always rises to the occasion when the chips are down. This is the beauty of football, God loves us all, eh? Oh, it's a low, oh, it's a low, I'm a it's a bit of an untold story that Bitso Jingles Musimane had two uncles, Dickie and Menlain Koza, who played for Kaiser Chiefs and Orlando Pirates, respectively. His own football journey began when one of South Africa's living icons in Jomasona discovered him and gave Musimane his big break in the early 80s, an event that a man who is now at the helm of Al Ahli never forgets to mention. Former Mamelodi Sundowns and Bafana Bafana head coach Stanley Skrima Shabalala also had been part of that scouting mission. When Musimane would play his football as he began to catch the eye of the traditional big teams turned out to be an internal struggle within his family. A potential move to Zola Mahobe's era at Mamelodi Sundowns was blocked by his parents in 1985. It was though sanctioned some 12 months later as Mahobe's deep pockets would finally price away at its man. After he had crisscrossed between Cosmos and Sundowns, Musimane, like one of his uncles, spent a season at Pirates in 1989 before joining Ionikos, a club that has recently returned to the Greek Super League, having lost its way for a few years in the lower divisions. When South Africa was readmitted to international football in the early 90s, Musimane, who was based in Greece at the time, also managed to get a few call-ups. But the striking force at the time boasted the likes of his former teammates at Cosmos, Phil Masinga, Brandon Augustine and Mark Williams and many others, and this restricted him to only four international caps. He would later come back in the late 90s to wind up his career at Sundowns as a player coach. One man's gain is another man's loss, and that is exactly what happened in 2012. Almost six months after Musimane had left Bafana Bafana, it was time for him to go and rejoin the club where he had first practiced as a budding coach. In his first press conference at Glorkop, Musimane told the gathered media that his main objective was to reawaken the sleeping giant that is Mamelodi Sundowns, and boy oh boy did he go on to achieve even more than that. Sundowns president and now CAF president Patrice Mutsipe had tried all the big name European coaches you can think of and in six years they all failed to deliver with all the millions spent on transfers but with jingles it took only two seasons and the first league title was delivered. Within four years at the club Musimane had ensured that Mutsipe's long-held dream of sitting at the summit of the African game was realized. This when the Brazilians lifted the coveted CAF Champions League title conquering Zamala in their own backyard in Egypt in 2016. And this was achieved with a proudly South African technical team which met all the demographics of the country. Musimane's visionary leadership was written all over this transformation. At Sundowns, Musimane changed the culture of just signing players for the sake of it and transformed the lives of young South African talents like Bongani Zungu, Keegan Donny and Percy Dawo into multi-millionaires on the European grounds as they made moves to 
top clubs in Portugal, France and England. It was also during the spa that he went on to ensure an absolute dominance by Sundowns in South African football, becoming the most successful coach in the professional era, M. Zanzi, winning five league titles and 13 trophies overall with the Brazilians in just eight years. It was fitting that in Musimane's last season at Sundowns, the club lifted a treble and he left them with a structure that is delivering till today and having positioned the Tswane side as the best club in South Africa and one of the best in the African continent. A great spell in his first head coaching job at Supersports United, where Pizzo Musimane won some trophies, including the ABSA Cup and the SAA Super 8, and also took the club to the group stages of the CAF Champions League. And this was the success that saw him being lured to the national team setup as an assistant coach to Ted Dimitri in the 2006 African Cup of Nations in Egypt. As the country was preparing for the 2010 FIFA World Cup, Musimane was then roped in again as one of the assistants to the Brazilian World Cup winning coach Carlos Alberto Barrera technical team together with Cabo Zondo. But it was the hard-working jingles who would stand the test of time and went through the whole project of sitting on the bench during Africa's first ever World Cup in a hundred years, surrounded by the Brazilians. It didn't come as a surprise then when Safa leadership kept their promise after the World Cup and let the son of the soil take over the reins from Barrera with the main objective being vision 2014 of qualifying Bafana Bafana to the next big spectacle in Brazil. What started as a good project with Musimane transforming the team with the addition of players who had also represented the country at the Under-20 World Cup in 2009, the likes of Tulani Sirero, Andy Lejali, Dylan Klaassen, mixing them with the 2010 stars like Stephen Pinas, Piwa Shabalala, Diko Mudisi, and many others was messed up by a lack of patience at the top. One of the low lights of his spell was failing to qualify for the 2012 Africa Cup of Nations tournament. Remember the Mbombela dance of shame? But there is also no denying that Musimane was making some strides with Bafana and playing some of the strongest opponents on the African continent and abroad. The rise in the world and African rankings was there for everyone to see. A draw at home against Ethiopia. Ethiopia and the World Cup qualifiers would signal the end of Musimane's reign as a Bafana head coach in June 2012, chased away by short-sighted football leadership. About a week before Pizza Musimane left Mamelodi Sundowns for Al Akhli, very few people know that he was ready to walk away from a newly signed multi million rand contract with the Brazilians. And this was as a result of his unhappiness with the happenings at the club, with allegations of people who were hell bent on pushing him away from Sundowns. It was around this time in September 2020 that the most successful club on the continent, the club of the century, the giants of Egypt, Al Akhli, Akhli came calling for the son of Kahiso and Snawane. His introduction as the Red Devils coach came with much fanfare in Cairo as he became the first Al Akhli coach from Sub Saharan Africa. Musimane, who came in to replace Belgian coach Rene Weiler, arrived at a time when Akhli were in the semi finals of the Champions League, interestingly, having knocked him out with sundowns in the last eight. The mandate was simple from Akhli president Captain Al Khatib. They had been longing for the ninth. Champions League star and Musimane would go on to be named as the ninth man as the Red Devils and next to their record ninth Champions League title winning it for the first time in seven years. In 2021 Jingles would go on to win back-to-back -back Champions League titles at Akhli, his third star overall as he saw off his childhood club Kayser Chiefs in the final and this was a victory that took him to his third FIFA Club World Cup where he returned with back-to-back -back bronze medals against some of the best coaches and clubs in the world. It hasn't been a bed of roses for the son of the soil, doubted by some in the north, but ably assisted by his management team, MT Sports, led by Mora Tlachale. He is now sitting comfortably in a new two-year contract and continuing to make headlines at the club of the century, a beacon of hope for millions of black coaches in the continent. Wow, what a brilliant uh, 
piece of work that is. Thank you so much for joining us. We're live, of course, uh, on SABC Sport DTT. We're live on Metro FM as well. It is a sports night amplified with Andy. We're doing both a dual uh, presentation here of radio and television. We're not in our studios as per usual in Auckland Park. We're in the north of Johannesburg for this conversation we're going to be having all week. I've spoken about it. Coach Peter Musimane is sitting with me. And of course, as you're seeing in the visuals there, many have come to be a part of this conversation. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Coach Peter Musimane is now with us. Coach, great to have you here. Great to see you again. Welcome. Uh, thank you, Andy. Uh, good to be home. Two days at home. Uh, I haven't been around for the last eight months. Wow. Yes, I haven't seen my home for the last eight months. And uh, uh, I was here, of course, when we played Sundowns, but uh, I never went home. So I never saw my children, but uh, it's good to be home. But unfortunately, again, three and a half days, and I, I have to go to Morocco to finish my Kepro license. But it's good to be home, good to hear the local language. Uh, they made sure that I have uh, the nice oxtail at home <laughs> last night. So really, really, it's unbelievable. I'm, I'm, I'm happy to be home. Can I tell you, I think that women are the most amazing visionaries in the world because just before we came on air, we're looking at pictures and videos of you back in the day with those short shorts. And I thought to myself, your wife, Aus Moria, is a visionary. For looking at that and thinking, hey, something's going to come out of this. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I would like to turn it around that uh, behind uh, every successful man, mm -hmm. there's a strong woman behind, you know. So uh, uh, she's the pillar of she's the pillar of, of strength, and she's the she's the one who's got the vision. I'm the worker. She she di she directs. She opens doors. And of course, this conversation is in part, uh, you know, uh, partly brought to you, of course, by MT Sports as well, who were a big part of this conversation. Massa as well, the Marketing Association of South Africa, they were also part of this conversation. SABC Sports, of course, and Metro FM. Coach, I mean, there was a lot said in that, but when we were planning this, when we were thinking about this, when we were, we were going big, because we'd be sitting here, as we had planned it a week ago, two weeks ago, celebrating history celebrating a three-time consecutive winner of the Champions League. That's what we're planning. That's why we were here. We're speaking positively to say, Pito's coming here. What are we going to do? Where are we going to put the trophy? Yet we are here, and that's not the case. Yeah. Um, you know, in, in life, uh, uh, Andine, uh, things don't go the way you want all the time. But when you have a plan and you have a vision, and a strategy, you all know that you'll, go, you'll have hurdles along the way. And I don't know of everybody, anybody who's been successful who has never had hurdles, you know? I mean, I don't know how many cup finals I've lost, maybe five or six cup finals I've lost, but I've been blessed, I don't know, maybe 18 or some, so much, I don't know. So I've been blessed. So I, I can't cry for four or five that I've lost. I can positively look at the 18 to say, 18, 12, it's, it's, it's a lot of games won, you know? So I, I only try and look at the, the positives, but I know that, I mean, you can read about uh, Steve Jobs, you can read about all the best entrepreneurs, you can read about Maradona, Pele, uh, all the top, top players of top personnel. None has had success without failure. And I don't, I don't call it a failure. In football, we're saying, it's a setback, it's a lesson that you should come back and say, what have I learned from that? Then you correct, you know? So I don't know anybody who has made it without, we, I've been fired at work. So <laughs> if have I not been fired at Safa, I wouldn't have won three, three Champions League titles. You know what I'm trying to say? So, so sometimes it's a wake up call, sometimes you learn from that. So you, you have to take it uh, as a positive. Behind negative, there's always, that's why they say there's always a light at the, at the back of the tunnel. So you've got to be positive and, 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 and understand that this will happen to you. If, even if you want to pass exams, you've got to study, you've got to, you've got to put the candlelight on. So, so, and you suffer. Mm. So this, that's why by, by they say easy come, easy go. There's, there's, there's a clip I want to play you. 
from the last conversation we had because I want you to tell me how you feel now because we spoke about loss and losing before. And this is what you had to say then. Take a listen. how you hate losing. You spoke there about how you don't sleep when you've lost. So when you're taking it now and you, you know, telling me about it happens, it happens, I'm wondering to myself, have you changed your stance on that? You can ask the guys who, who spend a lot of time with me there, the generals in the table there, uh, ask them uh, what kind of a person am I after a loss. They will always tell you that. That's why in South Africa they say I'm a bad loser. Yes. I'm a very bad loser. Uh, I, who, who, which coach likes to lose? I mean, why should I keep my modesty and be smiling and humility after a loss? I mean, really, did I want to win or what? So I'm very angry when I lost. My family knows that, hey, leave him alone. You know? So I hate losing. But uh, because, I li because I like winning. So I know there are coaches who are, who are nice guys and modest and have nice comments after they lost. As I said, this guy does, didn't really want to win. <laughs> so he's okay with the loss, you know? So uh, yes, I, uh, I'm a different guy. I, I hate losing. I mean, you saw my face now uh, two days back after I have lost. I, I'm, a, I'm a different guy. I'm a monster when it comes to that because I've put so much work in winning. I know about winning is, is preparations. And I work so hard. Uh, sometimes they say uh, luck. luck follows hard work. Eh? So mm -hmm. I, I work hard. I put hours and hours and hours on any and every game. So when I lose, I said, yeah, after all the work that I've done, this is what I get. So that's why I'm angry when I lose, you know? So, but that's part of life. And uh, that's the passion of winning. I love winning. So when I, can't, you look, I can't swap it. So now when you look back at that loss, yeah. and you look at the work that you put into it, yeah. why and how did you lose that final? What did you put it down to? Because knowing the person you are, you went home and you sat down and you said, I need to relook really at what went wrong. You mean on the last one? On the last one. Yeah, a lot of mistakes, of course, because, because there is no success without setbacks. Mm -hmm. There's always going to be mistakes. And... and, and and the biggest mistake was, was our second goal. But the most mistakes we did is we that came and scored the goals. We came to play football. And, and we missed all the chances. How many more did we want? So a, a game of football is, a, is the results also. So sometimes you play good and you lose. Yeah. But uh, what's important is, uh, uh, thank you. What's important is, 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 at the end of the day, is to, to win the game. Mm. Because sometimes, uh, uh, I know back at home, sometimes the guys will always say, yeah, but uh, Pizzo doesn't play the most glamorous football ever sometimes. I know when to play beautiful, and I know when to grind it. So, so, so you, you can't play beautiful football every day and, and all that. You lose. And we'll always say, yeah, they played very well, but they lost, <laughs> you know? So I like winning so much more than playing beautiful football. So if I realize that this game, I have to close it and win it. I will close it and then win it because I love the trophy. I like the win, you know? So I don't care what everybody will say because I know at the end of the day, uh, who, cares about how, who cares about how we played well against Widat? The trophy's gone. So we lost the trophy. So we that are not talking about how much ball possession we had, how many chances we made. They are the, today, they are the champions of Africa, period. But then what happens to a brand that is known for winning, a brand that you created that says I'm a winner, 18 like you've said, when people like 
Tahal Ishmael, and a lot more Alakhli legends. And I'm going to quote from the headlines today. Yeah. Alakhli today? must get rid of Peter Musimane, Percy Dow, for the club to do well. The, this is the brand that you built. You built it on winning. You didn't win. Yeah, but Andile, I've been fired every week at, at Alakhli. Every week, I've been fired. And, and that team was established in 1907. I think you can make your calculations. I'm the second longest coach in that team. Now you tell me. <laughs> now you tell me how many coaches have they had over 100 and whatever years. So, so the legends of Alakli are always going to comment about it, you know? And I think also it has picked up here in South Africa because if you want a nice criticism of the club or of the coach, if you want to talk about Keda Chiefs, they will go to, to uh, NTA Mapike who was winning many trophies with, with uh, Keda Chiefs at that time or, or, or Teenage Larda, whoever. They'll go there and say, what do you think? And they will always talk about how good their team was at that time. You go to Orlando Pirates, they will always talk about the guys who won the double treble. Mm. Uh, and they say, but the Pirates did not play like this. They don't play like this. Yeah, but when was that? Times have, uh, have, have changed, you know? And, and some of the people are coaching those legends. And, and, and why can't they come and, and, and transform it? It's easy to talk than to do the things, you know? So, so the brand of football that I, I believe in is the brand of football I have started at Supersport United. And if you know football and if you follow football and if you have watched my games from there, it's the same way. I've always played the same way because I like good football. I like the quality of the brand. People come to, to the game to watch football. And I don't like people to go down to the mesh to pay their money and watch a bad quality of football. Yeah. We need to have a top quality. And even if you are at home, you should enjoy what you're watching. So it's easy to kick the ball from the goalkeeper there, and then it's on the other side, and then fight for it, maybe you can score. Okay? But when it's like that, we start playing with our phone. What's the score? You, you know what I'm trying to say? So, so uh, Xavi said it, he's the current coach of, of Barcelona, he said it before, he says, Yes, we win in Barcelona, but we win in style. We win just the quality. Why, will, why everybody still knows? We know Barcelona for playing quality and good football. And, and even the top players, King Kalu is here, Kalu Shabuala, mm. top football player. He's known for quality football. Neymar, Messi, Maradona, Pelé. Those are not people who were shooting from outside the box, who were strong and all that. It's the quality, that's what we enjoy, you know? It's like, it's like you're driving a good car, whatever the, the car might be. You need the quality of the car, you need the full package on the car, or the phone. You need, you need the quality. It's, the phone is not only to communicate, but it's to give you other options also. So I believe in the brand of football that I've played. And if you know, I play more 4 for 2 The last match I played was 4 for 2 The last match, the first match I started, the, at uh, Super Sports United, it's a 4 for 2. And, and when we won the trophy, we are played 4 for 2. And I have won all the trophies with an old fashioned 4 for 2. It's the Toyota way, it's the Mercedes Benz way, it's the Coca Cola way, it's the, it's the, the unique of the taste, it's the same. So you can play around and bring another flavors, whatever, but you know what's Coca Cola, okay? And you know what's Mercedes Benz. So I believe in the quality of the brand. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the brand stays the same. We build from the back. You saw that, we pass from the back. We find half spaces. We're playing a little bit uh, sophisticated. And let's be honest, that's, that's me at Supersport United, and that's me at uh, Mamelodi Sundowns, and they're still playing the same way. They haven't changed, and well done to them. They've kept the brand. They've kept the quality, they've packed the, the passing, and I believe they've even made it even better, okay? 
but the specimen is there, the classified book is there. It made it better than what you had it? Well, I would say so in terms of a little bit of playing, more juicy, more spicy, but I like the trophies. <laughs> okay, so put the trophy on the table. I like the trophy. So, Because, Coach, at the end of the game that you played, Mangalom Ngoti came out and said that what they are still doing, what they are still playing, is still Beatles' DNA. Do you believe that's still your team? Well, he would not say that when it's not true. You must remember, I, I played like that at Supersport United. And then I have recruited Mangoba after his troubles with Soup, with uh, Chipa and Amazulu. I said, come here, sit next to me. And, uh, and Rulani was fired by Chipa and Orlando Perez, and I said, sit here. I said, this is the specimen. This is the way we play. Sit down, learn, go home, study it, and you can make it better. Steve Jobs is no longer alive, but we're still living with the Apple products. Okay, the people who made Mercedes-Benz are no longer there, but we still have the better product. So I believe that they've improved it, and uh, they've won the treble, which is quality, and in a nice way, you know. So, but they also, they also in the midst of all of that, beat you twice, home and away. You made history, but in a negative way in that way. Yes, but, but they played better. Uh, and, and by the way, they, they took the team that I've built. That I said, this is the team I'm going with to win the Champions League. But things changed, and I left. Okay? So they've kept it, and they've put new products, new players, and it looks beautiful. I love it also. I like to watch. It's, it looks good. But you don't teach Tembas Rani to play because Mshishi will always play the way I said, Mshishi, you have to dance. Sereno, you have to do this. Uh, Rivaldo, he has to pass the ball at one time. Uh, you will have a Tapelo Morena, you have a Lyle Lake that he says, I'm a winger. I said, you're not a winger, you're a left back. And he cried. Who is the footballer, the, 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 the best uh, left uh, defender, defender of the season. year? But he cried. He says, I don't want to play there. So, so everybody says, yeah, but the winger, Tempas Wani must run down the line. I said, no, 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 no. He's a different winger. Leave him to dance. And when Tempas Wani is dancing and skating, you will see the products. And Tapelo Morena scored against me as a striker. And when he came in to play as a striker, I told him, he said, but that's a right back. I said, no, no, I played him as a striker, and he scored for me as a striker. He has done that before. He's a striker. He can play anyway. So I feel humbled when they say that. But I must also be honest and give them credit. They've made it better, you know? So they, they will be better. They will, uh, the treble was won before. They know that. We have won it the treble two times. We won the treble with Telcom, with the Champions League, and the league in 2016. It's not the first time you see the treble. And that one at the Champions League, by the way, inside. OK? So, and the treble was done even before I left. So they've kept it. So we should give them a, 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 a round of applause for not taking the product down. And they've kept it there. And I said to you, they, I believe that they will win the Champions League. And, and they will win it. It's a question of time. You, you have to be patient. You have to be patient. They will win it. Talking about patience, one thing that you want, well, and I was with you in Japan. Yes. When you went to taste it for the first time, yes. the Club World Cup. Yes. Now, you went and did something that's never been done again yeah. when you got the bronze. Yes. When they speak about the best coaches, was it, what is it, 2016, 2018? 2017. When you were named as one of the best in the world. Where do you see yourself when it comes to world football? Look, uh, sometimes I, I get humbled to sit down with Azen Wenger and have breakfast with Azen Wenger. Who has the chance? I get humbled when Thomas Tuchel comes to me. He says, top quality football. I mean, that's the champion of Europe last time until, until uh, uh, Real Madrid won it, okay? Hansi Flick, who's a 
the champion of of, of uh, Europe, also is now the, the head coach of um, Bayern, comes to me and says, we have watched the product, and the product is good, and the quality is good, and, and you have to test the product with the world. Mm. You can't test the product within the borders. Within the borders, I mean, it's done. When, 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 when Sundowns wins the league, what's new, guys? <laughs> you know, you, you, they have to win the league, and I had to win the league. Yes. I mean, what else do you want? We have the quality, and we have also the support. We've got resources to, to, to buy the quality of players we need. But it's not all about the quality of the players. It's about also every, every team has the quality of the players. If it was the quality of the players, then PSG would have won the Champions League. So it's not all about that. So, so we got the resources. We managed to do that. But the, the 4 for 2 I'm telling you about that started at Supersport United, my day one, is the same 4 for 2 that I've put against the biggest team in the continent, al -Akhli. And I think you know the score at that time. Zamalek, one of the biggest club in the continent, we've put it against that. We've put it against the Widat. We've put it against Esperanza. Those are the giants of, of, of football in Africa. Don't, 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 the, the same thing next year and the year after, those four or five teams are in the KEF Champions League final. The rest, this, these group stages, forget about those things. That's, we haven't started playing football. Okay? So, so, no, no, I'm not uh, going there. I'm just saying. <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, so the quality of the brand that I believe was built in South Africa and made in South Africa, and it's not a Barcelona way. It's not a Real Madrid way. It's not a Liverpool way. It's not a Manchester City way. It's, it's my soft way. It's the way... I believe football should be played. And I've tested that in the continent. And then I wanted to test the quality of this brand in the continent. You, might, you got to find out if globally is this the right thing or not. You got to do what the other brands are doing. Is it a local brand or is it an international brand? Then what you do is I put it against the champions of Europe. I put it against Bayern with Lewandowski playing, Meller, uh, you can mention all them. Uh, Manuel Noah, I'm not talking about second team. And then I put it against that. Okay, we lost 2-0, but they struggled to score the second goal until the 80th minute, it was 1-0, till the 80th minute, with Hansi Flick on the bench. Excuse me, that team, three weeks before they beat Barcelona, 8-2. And you got to understand how I was feeling to face Bayern after beating Barcelona with with, with uh, uh, Neymar and them on the pitch. I said, wow, what are we going to get? And everybody said 21-0 uh, or 12-0 <laughs> and all that. And I was also, I was, the anxiety kept me. But I said, no, 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 I believe in the, in the spear. You know, in Conte West Suisse, I believe in that spear. <laughs> I believe in the local spear. Mm. And I put the local spear against the champions of Europe. And then I said, but the spear is not bad. Can do well. And then we played the champions of, uh, um, the champions of South America, uh, where you have uh, the Santos, uh, Flamengo, all these top players Neymar coming from. We played against Palmeiras. And I put it against now against uh, 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 South America. I said, let's test the spear, if the spear is the quality is, we beat Palmeiras. So, wow. So, this brand and the quality is good. So, it's not, doesn't end there. So, you've got to test this product, if this product, is it an international product. Then, we play against the champions of Asia. I mean, Al Hilal, they beat everybody from South Korea to China to, to, to the Gulf to, Middle East to India, you just go on the whole Asia to check if this quality, the brand is good from South Africa. And then what happened? 
we beat them 4-0. So I said, okay, three continents or four continents down. Okay, Europe still says that there's a difference between a euro and a rand. <laughs> Do you know what I'm trying to say? So, so that's why they have a Mercedes Benz. We don't have a car like that, okay? We don't produce cars like that. But I can say they make cars out of the platinum, the uranium. We, we have them here. So that's, that's the quality that South Africa has. So that's, that's where I've tested the brand. So I've tested against globally, and it just came three times, two times, the third best in the world. So I think I, I believe in the South African brand and the quality. We've got voice notes that we're going to be playing uh, that, of course, are, are coming from all of you, and it's 074845. The, 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 the North Africa and the North America and Central America, Monterey. Those are the other champions of the confederations. So we, we slaughtered them. Let, let, me, let me challenge that a little bit, Coach, because you're talking about this brand of yours, which is based on this 442 that you've had since the beginning. Yeah, but you I do change sometimes, but that's, but, but the, foundation. that's, that's the foundation, right? Yes, yes. In order for this brand to succeed, and by the way, Sundowns beat me with that formation. <laughs> <laughs> In order for that brand to succeed, it needs you to pick the right partners to partner it. Yeah. In this instance, those partners are players. Yes. Now, everybody's looking at you at Alakli and saying, we are questioning your inclusion and your insistence on brand Percy Tao as part of this brand. Is there a brand discord there? Yeah, you, you, you see, uh, Andile, when you, I'll tell you about, um, I don't know, a good, good, good example, Tom, Tom Ford, the quality, the brand, mm. okay? He was working for Gucci, by the way, you must know that. And he turned Gucci around. And uh, Gucci was nowhere. And then today, we're talking Tom Ford. Why? It means the quality. The man had the quality. So I found, uh, luckily, the giants as the giants of Alakli. But having a problem on the on international stage. World Cup, Super Cups, Champions League, international. Within the borders, they're the giants. We all know that. Of course, I found eight, eight uh, stars, eight titles. And by the way, eight titles over 104 years, remember? So at least I took two, two, two in 18 months, OK? <laughs> and I, I nearly got one in the, in, within 18 months to make them three. So, so, so I've contributed a little bit of contribution to, to that big brand. Mm. That's what uh, Tom Ford did. That's what uh, Steve Jobs did to, to Apple. And everybody says, yeah, they were not happy with him. And then he left. And then today, look at this. And he's no longer there. The guy is long passed on. But the quality has remained. So Alakli is the biggest club, is the big giants. I mean, it, what a big club, guys. You don't understand how big, huge this club is. OK? Sammy, uh, Amy can tell you. Kalusha can tell you. Uh, 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 and, 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 and everybody can tell you who've been traveling and to the generals know. But I brought the spear to, to activate the international side of the club. And we went to the World Cup twice. We brought the two bronze medals. Never has ever, we brought the two Champions League. OK, unfortunately, we didn't win this one. We have about seven medals, gold medals, that we, we got from there within 18 months. So, so we have contributed a little bit to, 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 to the brand. But uh, there's always room for improvement. There's always room for improvement from Gucci. There's always room for improvement for Mercedes. There's always facelifts that are going to be done. And that's what my Melody Sundowns is, is currently doing, putting all the new safe facelift, putting all the other things. Looks much better. It's appealing. And that's what they're doing. Is there room to say, though? And does it put a dent on this brand, Peter? And if you just tuned in, yeah, we are speaking about uh, football, and we're using it as a catalyst for And by the way, you put me in a, in a conversation that is not my strength. 
yeah, the, 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 the brand positioning and all that. <laughs> I'm just a football coach, you know, I'll substitute and well, all speak, that. Speak to me about football. Here, here's a, when do I say, here I was wrong? And I'm going to go back to the question because, you know, we dance around it very nicely. To say, here I was wrong. Maybe Percy is not a good fit. I will always be wrong. And I'm wrong on every match I play. There's always mistakes on every match I've played. Even if, when we win, I say, but I could have done better. So, so when, who's perfect? Just tell me one guy who's perfect. I've always been wrong and I will be wrong. Okay? But I know for us to reach the Champions League final, Pessi was the man of the matches all the way until the final. He's got goals, contributed four assists, two goals. Uh, we should look at that. And, and Pessi is a top player, guys. Make no mistake, he's a top player. Okay, he's a very good football player. Okay, he doesn't take as many chances as he's supposed to. So he stays. He's good. You believe in him, you back him. I believe in him, I back him. I need a break. I need the, the WC. All right. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. If you just tuned in, it's Sports Night Amplified with Andy, but also live on SABC Sport DTT channels. We're going to take a very quick break. Taking your voice notes still as the coach takes a quick break. Please do send them on 074-845-6650. Sorry, may I pass? the first black African or non-Egyptian coach to lead the eight-time continental champions. It's proud to present to you the best African coach. Here we've got a leader, we've got a, a father. He's got a sense of humor. He's a very generous person. He's very fair. He's very down to earth. He has made a name for himself. Pizza is one of our own. I still remember his words very well when he said, uh, and we will conquer uh, Africa if, we, if we, we take football serious. He knows every player in the PSL. If you don't believe me, go and ask him. The one coach who always leads by example. I think success, uh, victories and excellence and achieving certain objectives is, is of paramount importance and this is what drives him. A coach who can build character. Coach, you must thank your wife because got 3 a.m. where now it's a call for the lady player. <laughs> We've heard this rumor, everybody's speaking about a coach. <laughs> A man who always rises to the occasion when the chips are down. This is the beauty of football. God loves us all, eh? Before Pizza Musimane left Mamelodi Sundowns for Al Akli, very few people know that he was ready to walk away from a newly signed multi million rand contract with the Brazilians. And this was as a result of his unhappiness with the happenings at the club, with allegations of people who were hell bent on pushing him away from Sundowns. It was around this time in September 2020 that the most successful club on the continent, the club of the century, the giants of Egypt, Al Akli, came 
calling for the son of Kahiso and Snawane. His introduction as the Red Devils coach came with much fanfare in Cairo as he became the first Al Ahly coach from Sub Saharan Africa. Musimane, who came in to replace Belgian coach Rene Weiler, arrived at a time when Ahly were in the semi finals of the Champions League, interestingly, having knocked him out with sundowns in the last eight. The mandate was simple from Ahly president Captain Al Khatib. They had been longing for the ninth Champions League star, and Musimane would go on to be named as the ninth man as the Red Devils and next to their record ninth Champions League title, winning it for the first time in seven years. In 2021, Jingles would go on to win back-to-back -back Champions League titles at Ahly, his third star overall as he saw off his childhood club Kayser Chiefs in the final. And this was a victory that took him to his third FIFA Club World Cup, where he returned with back-to-back -back bronze medals against some of the best coaches and clubs in the world. It hasn't been a bed of roses for the son of the soil, doubted by some in the north, but ably assisted by his management team, MT Sports, led by Mora Tlachale. He is now sitting comfortably in a new two-year contract and continuing to make headlines at the club of the century, a beacon of hope for millions of black coaches in the continent. Welcome back, you're live on SABC Sports DTT as well as Open View. It is conversation with Peter Musimane under the guise that we've called Peter Musimane the pursuit of excellence. Peter, what does that even mean? I mean, we're speaking brand, we're speaking you know, things that, sitting at home now, I'm listening to the story of Peter Musimane in football and thinking to myself, how do I apply this in daily life? You've called it the pursuit of excellence. What does that mean? Yeah, uh, Andy, you're asking me about pursuit of excellence. I, I'm, I'm one guy who always challenges the theta score. I, I, I believe in challenging the status quo. I, I like to move boundaries. I like to, to change the game, mm. hence the slogan of keep changing the game. I, I like to question things, and I like to ask why. So I, I don't know, maybe a difficult coach to work with. To be honest, because if you employ me, I'm going to question you, and and I will tell you, this is the way we have to do things. And normally in football, you you will forever have a problem with uh, the teams to tell them to say, this is the way we're going to do things. And I will always refer to examples like. Um, Jack Welsh, who changed the General Electric uh, company and turned it around after so many years that it was not doing very well. And he changed the status quo. Uh, Tom Ford changed the status quo in Gucci. Uh, Steve Jobs changed the status quo in, in Apple. Uh, I, I can go back uh, and Lecau, as an example. changed the status quo of where we always have the Nike and the Puma and then he came with, sure. with that. And there's a uh, tempo over there. We should also speak about him. He changed the status quo. Because Trevor Noah changed the status quo. Uh, Black Coffee changed the status quo. So I believe in changing the status quo. I challenge the system. And a lot of people will always be unhappy with me because I changed the status quo and I move things around and, I want, and I'm inquisitive. And and that is the challenge, and that's the problem. But the pursuit of excellence is, is not to challenge the status quo because you want to look smart, or you want to look clever, or you want to, to sound intelligent, or what. You need to know why you're doing this, and you need to explain to people why you're doing this. And most of the time, people don't understand why you do that. And that is why many people are uncomfortable with you, because they don't understand you. Not to say they, don't, they hate you. They, they don't see what you see. And, 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 and that is the problem. And they start to say, ah, who does he think he is? Where is he going to end up with this thing? And, 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 and that's, that's, that's my pursuit of excellence. And, and when I believe in something, and I think this is the way football should be played, 
I will play like that against Barcelona here. We played Barcelona here. We lost 3-1. But we scored the, a beautiful goal with Barcelona. The way I play is built from the back uh, with all the top players in Barcelona there. So I believe in the brand. I believe in, the, in, 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 in what I do. You speak about challenging the status quo, and that's what I wanted to come in on. Because then that goes to Peter Musimani arriving at Sundowns, doing things differently. Whereas we don't see a lot in South Africa from the managerial side and the coaches of somebody that's that fully in charge of their team. Buying, choosing their own players, deciding which players to let go. That's solely sitting on your shoulders as the coach, or manager as you'd like to call it. Was that part of changing the status quo? And could you go back to a system where we see here in South Africa? Yes, and I always make sure that, uh, uh, okay, I've got a top, top manager there next to me who's dealing with my contracts, and make sure that if you employ me, this is the way we're going to do things. I choose the team. I choose the team sheet. I train the team. I'm, I'm in charge for recruitment. I'm in charge for the results. And if they don't work, you come and blame me. I'm the guy who starts a business and he puts his money and he puts his energy on it and believe in the, in the product. So uh, you, you cannot come to me and then you want me to change things. And at the end of the day, the results are on me. But you don't come out and say, by the way, I'm the one who's interfering with the results. Uh, they're playing like this because I changed, because I put too much pressure. I wanted this, I wanted, I bought this player and all that. So nobody comes out. At that time, it's you. So I'm the guy who falls on his sword. I fall on my sword. I, I, I don't let you to kill me, I kill myself. <laughs> uh, we are speaking about uh, an interesting brand uh, analysis that we've been observing over the past um, uh, just over a decade of Peter Musimani, the pursuit of excellence is the theme of the conversation that we're having. And if you just tuned in and you're wondering, what is this conversation about? Why aren't they talking about the 4-4-2 and how the game was lost at Al-Akhli? Because we wanted to broaden this conversation beyond just football. We wanted to broaden this conversation to speak to absolutely everything in your daily life that you can use, that Coach Peter Musimani has had, the ups and the downs, in order to get to where he is. When you speak about the downs, no, not that downs. Yeah. <laughs> the opposite of ups. Yes, I know. When you speak about those downs, at that time, when Pito's just lost. Yeah. When Pito is being said not to be good enough. Yeah. When, and I always go back to that board, and I know it stays in your mind. You'll never forget it. Yeah. You remember that board? Yes. Early on at sundowns. Yes. What did it say? Pito, Pito must, must go. go. Yes. At that time, what is the value of that brand? As I said to you, I believe in, in the product. I believe in what I do. Let me take you back a little bit with, this, with, with what I believe in. When I came at Supersport United, Supersport United has never came second, has never won nothing for eight years. And, and I'm not trying to be political here. Supersport United was just white players, white coaches, white everything. And I came over at Supersport United. First I came over at Supersport United as a scout. I was part-time scout. And then I put my hard work. I fight. I'm, I'm, I, I, I achieve things because I work hard. Uh, you can say I'm lucky. But uh, luck follows hard work. You must know that. I, I, and then I became assistant coach. And then I became the interim coach. And then I became the coach with one year contract. So they always doubted me. And what I always had to do is to, 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 to do what is right. What is right is to work hard and to, to, to analyze the situation. Where's the challenges? Where are we strong on? Where are we weak on? What we need to improve? And that's what, that's what happened. I came at Supersport United. They were lying 15th on the lock in December. We finished second. So I don't know how we went up. And after that, they was given a job for next year. I was worried. I said, because I was a rookie coach, 
I was, and first time as a coach, and I, I was worried about myself to say, what happened? Because there's always uh, one season wonders, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes, because I remember Pat Komafani said, uh, I'm a fly by night. <laughs> said, that team is a fly by night. We'll beat them. They beat us this year, fly by night. You know, Patko, lovely guy, my friend, by the way. Okay? And I was worried. I said, oh, what am I going to do? I said, stay on what you know. Mm -hmm. Stay on what has made the success for you. Uh, you have to have your core principles of a business. You have to have your core principles. If what has made you where you are is this one, two, three things, don't change them. Don't look at the neighbor and now you start changing. Okay, you can copy good things, but stay on what you believe in. Stay on what, stay on what made Andile to be where he is now. It's my hair. It's always my hair. <laughs> so, so keep the hair. <laughs> keep the hair. Don't cut it, you know? <laughs> the Solomon story, you know, in the Bible. Anyway, so uh, I came to Mamelodi Sundowns. They were lying 14th on the lock, and I said to myself, but why am I getting these teams that are 14th and 15th on the lock? Why am I going to get number three, number two? And I brought what I think was right. And I changed the status quo. And I think you know the history now, ever since I came over, you know? And I, I found Johan Neskens playing the Barcelona way. Mm -hmm. Because her, but Johan Neskens is a legend in Holland. He comes from the product of, of, of total football, from Johan Kreef. Yeah, from Johan Kreef. Johan Kreef get it from Rennes Michels. It, it goes beyond. He's, he's a product of, it's unbelievable. It's like, it's like you're talking about the son of Harry Oppenheimer. When there was uh, uh, Nick Oppenheimer, when there was Harry, there was it before, before, before. I mean, there's been, there's been so much wealth and old money and, and everything. So you, you have to succeed, by the way. There's no reason not to succeed. Okay, because you found billions. So unless you are careless, how can you finish those billions? You just have to make it better, you know? It's not like me and Lekau, whom we, we have never seen a car in our family. And we are the first one to bring the car, okay? So anyway, so same with Mamelo de Sundowns. I found Johan Cruyff, the guy direct from Barcelona, they won the Champions League with Frank Reichardt. Mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Before was... Christo Stoichkov, the guy who won the Champions League with Romario and them at Barcelona. All the legends of Barcelona have been around. And, and then I said, no, 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 no. Remember, I don't have, a, I don't have a, a Pique, I don't have an Iniesta, I don't have a, 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 a Xavi. No, 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 I don't have a Messi. I can't play like this. I must play the way I believe has made me the coach. Mm -hmm. and, and we changed the, 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 change the status quo. We changed the game. As I always say, always keep changing the game. And you know what happened as we speak now. The team has just won the treble. I changed it. Because now everybody says, why do you want to change the model of Stoichkov from Barcelona and Johan Niskens? I said, hey, this thing is not working. We need to change and go different. That's what Jack Walsh did. He found General Electric, going down, he changed it. Steve Jobs found Apple like that, he changed it. Okay? Uh, 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 uh. This guy came over from, 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 from Gucci. Uh, Tom. Tom, uh, what's his name? Ford. Tom Ford. He changed the status quo. So that's what I believe in. I believe in the brand. I believe in the quality. I believe in what the brand can do. And if the brand, if the brand is good, you will see the reaction of the customers. They will come and buy again. They will come again. They will come. Then it means the brand is good. Because no matter how market you, ma you market it, if the brand is not good, it's not going to be good. So that's what I believe in. We've got two minutes before we get off the air, Metro FM. It's Sports Night Amplified with Andy Le. It's a conversation different to what you would have expected from a conversation with Coach Peter and myself because we're speaking about things that could empower you in your everyday life that you could use from the coach's experiences in real life. Coach, before you go, for our Metro FM listeners in particular, you speak about they're going to come calling for you. 
because the brand has been built and the brand is good. Yes. Has Europe come calling? You spout in South Africa that you had done it all, you know, this fish was outgrowing this little pond, right? Yes. And you expanded and it was Africa. From where you are now, yeah. how big is this fish in this pond that you're swimming in now? Look, if it's, uh, I'll go back to, to, to the local brand, okay? How big is Legao's shoes to, 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 to Europe? How, bu how big is Tepo's products to Europe? We wear the clothes, they look good, but has Europe opened the doors for Africans? It's very difficult. They have not. And they don't trust. They don't trust. You know that. You can't tell me the job you're doing now here. You can't do it in, in Europe. You can. But have you been given the platform? No. They'll say, Tsepo, we know your, we can see the suits, but uh, we've got, we've, we've got uh, Armani, we've got whatever. You know? But, but who's, who's Armani? Armani was Tsepo. Okay? And he was given an opportunity. I've seen Amy uh, marketing football at the highest level in, in, at FIFA. But she comes from here. I've seen Kalu in South America teaching the, 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 Ameri uh, the Mexicans how to play football and even coach them. And you're talking about Club America, and you don't know what Club America is. It's like an Alakli in, 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 in Mexico. It's huge. It's big. But Europe is not ready. For, 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 for Africans. Europe is not ready for us. So you want to tell me that Wayne Rooney, who's just a coach now, is better than me? Oh. Are you serious? <laughs> Frank, Frank Lampard, he coached Chelsea now. Excuse me, or can I have a gig also? <laughs> Give me the Chelsea players. So, but the coach. Give me the Chelsea players. Give me Barca. Give me Bayern. Do you, think, do you think it will go down? The, wait, wait, because they I don't then, believe in us. How do I then elevate that? How do I elevate? How do I say to them, I'm unmissable? How do I say to them, I'm unignore, you can't ignore me? But it's, it's, the, it's to beat them. That's before why I beat these European coaches all the time. Okay? okay. They're they legends. Wilmot, the legend of, of Belgium, uh, I gave him. Okay? The guy who won... Uh, uh, who was in the semi-finals of, of Champions League from Monaco, the big guy. I gave him 4-0, okay? Big guy. I'm not talking about an ordinary coach. I'm talking high level, okay? To go 1-0 till the 80th minute with Hansi Flick, who has given uh, 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 Barcelona 8-2. Excuse me. So, so, you want to tell me that you can't work for BBC? Just to me. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta stop you, you, you can't work for Sky News? Yeah. Excuse me, you can. You, you, will, you, will, you will walk with. Coach, my bosses are here. I'm trying to get a raise. You're ruining my life. We've got to get out of here for as far as Metro FM is concerned. When we come back on the other side, of course, we're staying on television if you are next to your TV. If not, this broadcast will be live on SABC3 this coming weekend on Saturday. So you can watch an hour special of this conversation, A Pursuit of Excellence with Peter Musiman. Right, uh, our viewers on radio have left us, but we do continue here. And I've hogged this conversation. I would love to open it up to many of you that are here. And like you said, there's the likes of Likawa and Sapo, and we're hoping that whatever brand it is that you have, whatever brand that is that you are, something from the conversation we've had here today has been elevated. I'm gonna be calling Sky after this, for example. You know, what about you? What is it that you'd like to ask Coach on his journey that you're aware of that could perhaps help you. We're gonna get a camera around and uh, a mic as well. As soon as that's ready, we'll start taking those quarters. But Coach, thank you so much for this conversation, by the way. We really do appreciate it. Journalists in you, because when you are a brand, there's a certain decorum that you need to uphold all the time. Yeah. There's a certain language that you used to use all the time. Yeah. That's not pizza, though. Pizza at a press conference and yeah, 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 he's giving. He's giving. I, there's one thing you must understand about me. I, I don't attack 
anything that is okay, that is fine. When it interferes with me, when you dim my light, mm. I come back to you very strong. And I don't let you go. You know, even your media people, you know them. Once you start to dim my light, I'm telling you, it's going to be a fight until. Okay? And I've learned from my mistakes with the media. I mean, the, the, the journals are there. And uh, I forgot to talk about them. Uh, Brad Jakes Matsilani there, at the, sitting there. Um, you cannot tell me Jakes Matsilani can never write uh, 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 for New York Times. I've been interviewed by New York Times, I've been interviewed by BBC, I've been interviewed by CNN, I've been interviewed by Al Jazeera, I've been interviewed by Canal Plus, and I know what my guys are here, and what the quality that they have, and what they have produced. I've seen articles produced by Matsilani, but do you think Matsilani will work for, for New York Times Sports, for ESPN Sports? Ah, uh, they're not sure. He has done it. He, can, he, he will walk it. But that is exactly what we are saying with that. And I've done my mistakes with the media. I've said so many wrong things, and I've, I've done my mistakes. But I've seen also billionaires making comments that made big mistakes. <laughs> you, let's be honest, OK? And, and, and I've seen also journals writing articles without making a research, and, 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 and it comes back to their face. That's why sometimes I have. I have Twitter also. Sometimes they write things about me that are wrong. I reply. You know what I'm trying to say? I reply. But I don't attack anybody on Twitter. I don't attack. Mm. And sometimes people say things. You can't be all the time be fighting. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I let go. There's been an article now about criticizing my players. I let go. I keep, I keep quiet. I let go. You understand? That uh, we were not humble with the... Uh, with the silver awards. No, no, I don't belong to silver awards. I belong to gold awards. <laughs> don't give me a silver medal. I don't want it. But coach, on uh, that. Uh, I'm not meant for that. You're and not that's mad not at for them? me. Coach, your players were taking the silvers off. They were throwing them on. They were not wanting to put them on their necks. Have you understood why? Tell me. I'd love to know why. Where was the final plate? In Morocco. Where did the CAF president put the final? Where? Ask, answer the question, Andile. Where? Where? And when was that decision made? So you can't tell me. I must tell my players to keep the medal. The dice is loaded against us, and it has been like that, and it is done. And we don't have to talk about it. It is done, was cooked, well done. <laughs> and you know me? I'm direct. I speak to the relevant person direct. And it's not for public, it's not on media, I tell you straight. And you'll find out later if they are in front of all of them. And I think you know the podium. Look at the podium. I was speaking with the podium. Normally I go there, I take my medal, I walk away. This time I was speaking to them. I saw that. I spoke to FIFA and I spoke to KEF. Because I speak my mind. I might not, you might not like me, but don't dim my light, okay? If I want to win the third Champions League, I fight for it, I work for it. Uh, don't dim my light. Play fair and do right. Do well, be good, and do good, okay? Because everybody can see and the world can see, okay? When we went to the, the, the World Cup to play against uh, the World Cup to play against Monterrey, what happened? Kev put the, the Kev uh, 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 AFCON final on the day I'm playing. Yeah. They took 11 of my players. And they do it again? Hey. We know this thing. Did you wear it? Come again? Did you put the silver around you? I took it out. I gave it to a ball boy. No. I gave it to a ball boy. Why? This dice was loaded against me. It's about me. It's not about Alakhli. And it's the truth. And you might not talk about it, but you know me, eh? Open, direct. <laughs> yes, I say, I say my mind anytime. 
Yes. I'm not apologetic. Coach Mr. Musima is sitting with a conversation, of course, over the different kind. We are speaking about the pursuit of excellence. We do have uh, a room filled with absolutely amazing brains and the brain trust in marketing and football as well. And we'd love to have conversations with you here. Um, there is a mic that's roving around. If you do tap with it, it's got a question. Uh, and also, just for the purposes of the conversation we're having, it would be lovely if you introduce yourself so we know who it is that we're talking to. Good evening, Coach, and good evening, everyone in the room. Yeah, we can hear you. Oh, is it audible? Okay, thank you. Um, Coach, this is directed um, directly to you, you know. You've got um, young people like us who are designers, um, like Likawe, as we've mentioned him in the room, um, so on and so forth. And for us, our vision has always been outside of the country, where if we are able to wear a Pierre Cardini jean, which is someone else's name. Losing that name, let me I'll, I'll repeat for you. Keep going. I can hear you. Okay, okay, okay yeah. Which is um, someone's name that I grew up wearing, and to later wear a brand called Gucci, which is also related to someone's mm -hmm. name. Um, we got to a point individually, um, Likau, Batu, from Theo Baloi, from Batu, where we thought, you know what, we can actually also export and get to a point where we can be able to, 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 to produce the same quality, the same um, f everything that, that they've done, we can actually be able to do it also on our side. And we believe um, we are on the right track. And what I'd like to say to you is, from the bottom of my heart, Coach, thank you. I really would like to express my gratuity to you, and not from my side only, Fred, but from also other fellow South African designers that um, you've believed in. And in order for someone to believe in you again is you need to build value. You got to a point where you are today because you had to build value through super sports. You had to build, val build value through um, um, sundowns all these years. And it's only then by beating al Ahli on numerous occasions that they started paying attention not and noticing you. And it's from that that the president of Al Ahli even said, you know what, we need to get this guy on our team because currently in Africa, this is the only guy that, that can beat us. And um, for a person who is far away from football, um, I'm, a, I'm a fashion designer. I'd like to say I take loads and loads of inspiration from you. I take loads of inspiration from guys like you and Black Coffee simply because you've taught us, Uti, we come from the same neighborhood that you come from. You understand? You might come from Pretoria. I might come from Nelspreet, but it's, it's a location. And people that we grew up with have did not see us being anything more than what we could be within that confinement. And for you to actually go ahead and fly that flag for us, we, we, we really appreciate it. And thank you, Coach. Continue there. Um, one thing you should know is your success has transcended bef beyond football. Thank it's you very not much, just football now. It has transcended beyond football. Thank you very much. Uh, Firstly, because I know the coach couldn't hear a lot of what you're saying, Tepo. Firstly, Tepo was saying he's old because he used to wear Pierre Cardin. No, oh, is it? So let's yes. get there. You can't be young if so you wear Pierre so, Cardin. So that's the Tom Ford story, eh? Yeah. But also, coach, I think what he speaks to is when you become the Pito Musimane that the continent and the world is looking at, he's speaking about the, sh the, the, the light that you then shine on where you're from the light that you then shine on everything around you. Because people are saying, if that is so amazing, what's around it that we can pick up? How do brands like that who are now moving with pizza, who's at the Club World Cup wearing drip, who's at the Club World Cup uh, at the CAF Awards wearing Tapo's shoe, how much are you doing and how do they get on to be able to elevate themselves as well? Yeah, you, you see, uh, this is complex. Um, you, you must also understand uh, the dynamics of our country. Uh, and, and it's the truth. We, we, our, our country is complex, and our country is totally different, and we come from different history and all that. First, um, South Africa must look after South Africans first. Okay? I'm, I'm humbled that uh, Tsepo uh, gave me 
the beautiful shoes. I'm humbled that Lekau gave me beautiful shoes. I'm humbled that uh, um, uh, that end up and sell it. put me on a BMW. I don't even have that car. Put me on a beautiful BMW, and uh, he's here. He's, he's, he's part of the hierarchy and, and part of ownership with his dad. And they, they, they offered me the car. And uh, uh, DJ Spoo gave me the flavor to drink. Uh, 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 more flavor. And we, we, we can joke about it. No, we can joke about it. But we, can, we, but we can look at Red Bull different, remember? That's us in South Africa. That's the dynamics of South Africa, OK? Uh, Amanda gave me the shoes. And, 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 and today we've got the wine. Someone said our people partnered with us here, which is beautiful, OK? And, and by the way, that's, that's all I have. I have nobody in South Africa. Nobody's with me. All the brands in South Africa, I don't know. What else should I do to have relationships and partners? And these guys pitched. But is, is, is the culture, is the way we come from uh, uh, Tsepo, the, the, the country has not really made that transition to, to, to support local people. I mean, I won't be surprised that uh, 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 um, uh, 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 the DJ, um, Black Coffee. Black Coffee doesn't have a sponsor. I will never be surprised. And probably he doesn't have, to be honest. And if he has, which is the sponsor? Trevor Noah might not have nothing. But if you look at the backgrounds of the country, the way it is done and is run, so many guys have got sponsors. Let's be honest. Look, I'm not being political, I'm being straight. Rugby has everything. Look at the rugby players. Look at the cricket players. I, I mean, what else should we do internationally? But the country has not changed. So if we want Europe to recognize you, Tsepo, they must reco we must recognize ourselves first. So we are not at that stage yet. Do you know what I'm trying to say? And no matter what you do, people will always say, ah, but it's not Gucci. Ah, that's the, the cow's shoes, it's not Nike. Uh, they will always say, okay, Pizzo, we see him. He's not Thomas Tuchel, he's not Pep Guardiola. Remember, Jurgen Klopp won one Champions League in six years. He won one league trophy in six years, okay? Uh, I mean, uh, let's look the other side and look the other side. So, uh, then what should I do? I mean, is the way it is and uh, is, is the life, is the way it is, is the life. We had Bra Sheikhs here leading Bafana after I left and put it in a different platform. We have Ugo Bros, okay? The country's quiet. When was asked me, I was on a show on SABC every week. The guy hammered me, you know the guy. <laughs> he killed me for two years every week, okay? I'm, wa I'm waiting for him to see to hammer uh, Ugo Bros. It's not happening. But it's the dynamics of our country. We need time. We should be patient, Tsepo. Uh, uh, we need to be patient. We will get better with time. We are not yet ready as the country. And, and I don't blame anybody. We come from apartheid, guys. So we haven't changed. Colonization is still strong on us. So we can't be, I can't be hard on my black people because is the way it is, the life in South Africa. Maybe our grand grandchildren. For now, it's okay. In Arabic, they say, Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, indeed. Thank you very much, Sapo, for that one there. And wh while we wait for someone else, and I see um, uh, Mr. Tlaite there wants to ask, let me, let me perhaps speak about surroundings, Coach. You go to Phil Knight, the founder of Nike, and you look at the support system around him. You go to Jeff Bezos now, and he had to go to his parents and say, hey, I want to start this Amazon thing, or as it was known then, Kadabra. They said, here's 100,000, go for it, son. Who's that for Pizzo? What does that look like for Pizzo? Who's been that support? Who said, here's 100,000, go for it, in your instance, in your inference, in your life? You won't believe, talk about uh, Phil Knight, the founder of Nike. One day I'll tell you the story. I had lunch with Phil Knight. 
This is a serious story. Yeah. I had lunch with Phil Knight 24 years back. And then he thought that I think you're the one to can lead the brand in South Africa. End of the story is what you're saying, Seppo. I don't care what you do, how much good you are, is what you just said. You need a support base. You need somebody to come and elevate you. I'm sitting with you now and I'm not lying. And it's the first time you hear this story. 22 years back, I could have owned Nike South Africa because the guy gave it to me. It's a big story, but anyway, today, oh, the, no, 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 the no, cat no. is out of the bag. <laughs> I needed to keep it for my thing. Uh, Lekau, that's the, the real story. Coach, what do you mean? You can't leave no, it no, there. No, 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 leave it there. What? <laughs> so, you, okay, fine, tell me about the Later, lunch. later, no, later. The day I decide to make a, a documentary or I write a book, you'll get a shock of your life of things that I've seen, I've experienced. Hey, I'm going to leave it at that because it'll take an hour to get that story out. We don't have the hour. Mr. Clayt. It's Coach it's, uh, Chad from SABC Sport. Um, we all were excited to see you back in the country. I mean, you were on the, on the brink of a, of a historic third Champions League title in a row, which no one has achieved before. Um, but be that as it may, you've still achieved a lot of success. We saw the video uh, of your past. Um, my question to you is the pursuit of, of excellence, changing the game. What, what does that mean to Coach Pizzo and, and what's next for the brand, Pizzo Musimane? What is next, Coach? Because coming so close to winning it three times in a row, that's something that you'd have to wait another three years if that's what you're chasing. What is in front of you now? Look, you should never be ungrateful in life, uh, Chad, and say, oh, I should have made it three times in a row, and, and then you, you... I'm the only guy in this continent who has won it more than anybody. So look at the positive side. Mm -hmm. and, and that will remain until somebody changes it. So, so I, I, I look at, uh, 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 at the positive side of it to say that uh, there's always an opportunity behind a closed door. So never, ever feel that you are useless. There's no one who's useless. We are all have our own strengths uh, somewhere. It's just that at that time, at this moment, it's a little bit dark, it's a little bit difficult, but you need a helping hand. I've been helped. I would never be a coach at this point in time if Supersport United have given, not given me a chance. I would never be where I am in the, in the world, never mind the continent, if... Uh, 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 Patrice Mutsepe did not give me a chance to coach my Melody Sundowns. It is the truth. It's a fact. Okay? I would never be the coach who has learned so much if South African Football Association did not take me to learn football in Germany for that much. So I've been helped in life. And, and I also help. Okay? Uh, the coaches at my Melody Sundowns, they would never won the trophies if I didn't bring them in. Let's be honest. Okay? So, so everybody has been helped in life. Everybody has been given an opportunity. So I have been given an opportunity, but the question is, are you ready for the chance? You must take the chance when it's been given to you. Never be arrogant of what you've been given. Work hard and, and, and understand that you've been given an opportunity and, and take it very serious. I take my job very, very, very serious. Any game, all the games I've played, I've taken it. Uh, 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 very serious. So you have to take the opportunity. Chomo Sono found me at the school. Mm -hmm. My life would have been different if Brad Bra Joy could not have brought me to football. And I don't forget all those where my humble beginnings. And I always talk to them and I always pray for them. But Dr. Ivan Koza played the biggest role for me to be at Safa. Biggest role. Nobody knows. Made sure that Everything is right. I must be set. I must sit next to the Brazilians, learn from there. He told me, sit and learn, and we'll send you to school with uh, Dr. Mulifi Olifant. They've supported me. I've been supported. I've been lucky. But whenever I got the opportunity, I clung on it. I put my teeth and my nails on it, and I've never taken it as a casual thing, and I've, I've, I've dealt with it that way. 
Thank you very much, Coach. Sibabala, I don't know where you are. There we go. Sibabala asking a question now. Um, good evening, everyone. My name is <coughs> Sibabala Sesmani, and I'm the group CEO of Unorthodox Group. Um, one of our subsidiaries is Unorthodox Sport, and a lot like MT Sports and Marketing, we also manage uh, professional athletes like Magazole Mapimpi and Lukanyo Um. Um, my question to you, Coach, is when did you realize that you were a brand or if you actually do realize that you're a brand? Because so many people do so well on and off the field, but they don't know their influence. I mean, there's one specific moment where Cristiano Ronaldo removed a Coke and then he replaced it with water and the share price just did the craziest of things. So do you see yourself as a brand? And also, if you do, what are you hoping your brand will achieve long term? Do you see yourself as a brand? I mean, she uses the example, um, do you remember during the press when Pogba and um, <clears throat> Ronaldo removed Cokes because it wasn't part of the brand that they support. They removed whatever drinks. I think he removed an alcoholic drink, did Pogba. Yeah. Do you see yourself as a brand? And she goes on to say, many don't see themselves as brands. And I think you could use that inference here in South Africa to say, are players here, do they see themselves and do they market themselves? Do we see them as brands? But uh, how do you see yourself as a brand? You've got, to, you've, got to, you've got to live to the brand. You've got to do what a brand's supposed to be before you say you are a brand. Because I can always talk about me, I'm the brand, I'm the brand. People say that, people show that they are a brand. But what makes you the brand? For me, yes, I am the brand, but I'm a football brand. But I'm also an ambassador to my country. I mean, you see, I wear my flag everywhere I am. I don't forget where I come from. I'm an ambassador to the country. And I also believe that a brand should be something that leaves a legacy. That's why we form in Pizzo Musimani soccer schools. Because I believe the way Mjomana got me from the school, I believe I'll get one or two or three from the schools to do better than what I have done. So it's, it's for you as you are, the marketers. Can you help me to, to bring another Lekau? Can you help me to bring me another one? Yeah. So again, it's back to our country. Do you support our local people or not? I mean, I'm not here to be rooting for that or, 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 or asking for or pleading, whatever we call it. You know, I, I believe in the brand I'm doing. And that's what depicts me. And, and you go to Nigeria, they will tell you, yes, we know him. You go to Tanzania, they will say, we know him. You go to Algeria, they will say, we know him. You go to Tunisia, they will say, we know him. You go to Qatar, they will say, we know him. You go to Saudi Arabia, the K will say, we know him. So I don't know if that's the brand. Thank you very much, Coach. Appreciate that one there. Bradley and then Brian, oh, Brian then um, will finish off and say something on brand and key learnings from a brand. And of course, Brian is uh, the CEO out at Massa. I'm kidding him with a surprise. He wasn't expecting it, but he'll say a word or two in closing. Bradley. Um, evening, everyone. Um, evening, Coach Pizzo, highly respected football man. Um, I have a question. Um, so I'm Bradley from um, Transition Football. Um, so we've recently just um, linked up with um, the big brand in the UK, um, Celtic Football Club. Um, so I want to know from you, um, Coach, how in terms of dealing with youth players, because we deal with youth players every day, how do we then deal with player management in terms of you know, getting them ready um, for the transition of um, going from South African football into European football? Also, we see a lot of the we see a lot of the time like and 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 man, I hate to mention names, but I'm gonna have to. Your example, your Bongani Zungu, um, obviously who you you've worked with, and as well as um, Percy Tau. So they go to the UK. Um, they obviously trial and there's trials and tribulations and stuff like that. But us as South African players in the last say 10 years haven't been so successful in the UK. Um, where obviously every, every player wants to play. How do you then say we can manage, us as youth coaches, how do you say we can manage players better, especially at transition football, and also respecting the fact that you are, um, you know, um, opening your own um, football school, how can we then obviously, you know, um, go and manage players better? 
Bradley, thank you very much. That's an important one there, Coach. Because yeah. when you look at the trend currently in South Africa, players playing abroad, Hugo Bruce was saying it as well. Who is there in South Africa? Yeah, we, we need to go back and, and look what we have and what we had before, okay? There was one school that was doing well in sports school, sports school of, of excellence. excellence yeah. I don't know if you still remember the school, okay? That school launched my career at Supersport United. You don't know. I went to that school. I got five players in that school. The Rufas Mukotis, the Sienki Mutlajwas. We can go on and go on. I went to that school to get those players. Those players helped me to get a job at Supersport United. And we know who Steven Pinar from that school. We know where, who, who uh, 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 all these Bafana players who came from that school and also went to Europe from that school. So that's exactly what, to answer your question. That's what I'm trying to do, to duplicate as many sports school of excellences in provinces because football is in the schools. So that's what I'm trying to do because that has worked before. So that's what I'm trying to do. Let's train the boys at the schools. Let's get them young. Let's, let's give them the education also to support the football. Because if you give them education to support football, it will rub off to social lifestyle also. Do you understand? So now we get the players from the townships where I come from, and you know how tough it is from there. The lifestyle and the social backgrounds are a little bit different. So how do we do that? For me, it's what I'm doing now. Pizza Musima and Soccer Schools, where education needs to go, with football, and we will never be wrong. We'll get the right product. Thank you very much, Coach. And of course, this conversation was a, a, a brainchild of MT Sports as well as the Marketing Association of South Africa, who is Chief Executive Officer, who's with us now, Brian Yuyi. Brian, in closing from the conversation that we've just had, and you can see Tapo there fixing him up, getting him ready and tailored right on the spot. Brian, how do we close this conversation? I mean, a great conversation, uh, uh, educational conversation. What do we take away from it, from a marketing point of view, from a brand point of view? Uh, Andil, I, I, you know, look, in, in a nutshell, a masterclass in practice, yeah? Uh, for a lot of us marketers, you know, so we, we sort of, I mean, we're out there. We understand our consumers. We understand insights. We understand our brands. We do what we need to do. But, you know, this for me has been quite a revelation in the sense that, you know, and, and Coach said it, you're putting me on the spot talking about branding, but he probably didn't realize it himself that, you know, in, in the total story of what he was telling us, yeah, within there was exactly the very, very key facets of marketing right positioning how he put to you know where he is today yeah Pos you know the, the, the differentiation you know how he positioned himself as a coach to do different to those uh, who came before him and those around him yeah the alignment yeah ensuring that in whatever he did he brought all the key stakeholders to help him achieve what he wanted to achieve a masterclass, that's what I would say, a masterclass, because this is exactly it. This is the practice of and the delivery of what a brand should be. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, uh, Brian, there. I think that's it. Hashtag the masterclass. Coach, we have one minute before we have to be on the air. This floor is all yours. Yeah, I, I, I just want to, to thank everybody, th thank him uh, to make this possible for us. Uh, to bring all the marketers here, and uh, I'm I'm not a, I'm not a, a, a big entrepreneur to be talking about how brands should happen, but uh, I have a knowledge and I read a little bit about uh, a brand. I was yesterday I was watching uh, Elon Musk. What happened to him? How did he come up there? So so I also want to learn the success made by other people. How do you, how, 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 what are the principles, what are the characteristics of successful people? Because I admire 
Do you know what I'm trying to say? So I'm, I'm happy you brought the marketers here. Yeah. And I, I hope I didn't disappoint you because I'm not <laughs> good at your language. But uh, I would also like to thank, I must never forget, Ura Peleng and you from SABC for really making this possible for, for us to, to talk about it. And thanks for everybody. Thank you very much, Coach. We've got to get out of here. Unfortunately, time not on our side. The broadcast is going to be repeated, of course, on SABC3 on Saturday. Hashtag a masterclass, the pursuit of excellence with Coach Pito Musimane. It's been a great conversation. Thank you very much, Coach. And thanks to you, to all of you, for having been part of this conversation. MT Sport, SABC Sports, and Massa. We are here. Pella, pella. And so me. Are you the best out here?